Hello everyone and welcome to another I Pick My Butt video. Today we're playing more Rebel Link and we're going to be playing Black Caves with the Smuggler on Brutal. And just to show you we can, we're not going to be using any advisors. When you go to play it, it'll be that much easier. Now my first objective is going to be to stabilize our headquarter area. That's going to be Foxtrot Papa. It's a pretty solid area. It's right on a main highway so we can do an initiative for that. But we really want to get in there and stabilize it. Otherwise, if we don't, we're going to start losing reputation really fast. So if you just saw there, we went into the government tab and did district representatives. We then went over to the civilian tab, infrastructure discussions, and then highway one. We'll let the inflation sit for a second. We'll go back in and do outreach office for government. And then civilian, we're actually going to do main roads. Those are going to be the roads that branch off the highway, kind of leading north of where Foxtrot Papa is. If you can, try to learn how much these initiatives cost with each governor. That way you can watch the inflation and know when it's the right time to buy another initiative. And if you're loving Rebel Link and want to stay up to date on the latest tips, tricks, and walkthroughs, hit that like and subscribe now. Getting back into the gameplay, the Smuggler has a couple of special initiatives, one to decrease the number of insurgents that are fighting, and also another one to decrease the amount of corruption. So we're going to get into service discussions, do water supplies, and we'll build off that as the inflation goes down. So you may have noticed that when you purchase one initiative, sometimes other tiers pop up. Pay attention to where those are because that can help you later in the game. You may have noticed we don't really have a lot for our support level right now. It's mainly inflation and corruption. But doing this one right here, Universal Justice, that's going to give us three extra reputation. And that did boost it up quite a little bit. We're going to get a lot more once we do PR media. And if we want to, we can spend the one after that, which will really take it off. But we'll go back into civilian here. We want to try to see how much these are going to cost. And we just did medical supplies. That's going to be a huge boost to it too. We need to get a couple of these civilian ones to really get things kind of stabilized. You saw the tank there. In some other videos, I said to get rid of that. But in this one, we're actually going to keep that. That's going to be great for this board in general. So we now have opened up all the tiers inside the civilian tab. We still need to purchase one inside that development discussion. Otherwise, you're just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Pretty much a waste if you don't get anything else. But we're going to go over to government because we're starting to get to the point where the insurgents are going to pop up and we want to see that PR media drop down to $12. That'll be the point that I go and purchase it because we really don't want to waste any money. Every dollar really matters in this. And that's going to give us a huge boost on the support. We'll approve this project here. That's going to kind of screw things up for us a little bit for spending money, but that's okay. Extra support level, we'll take it. But once we see those insurgents pop, we're going to drop some troops and look at the jump that PR media just did. That was pretty huge for us right there. Now, if you've seen some of my other Black Cave videos, we're going to try to just let these insurgents hang out in the mountains. We're not too concerned about them, but we do want to get a coalition troop going and we do want to get that tank so we can attach it to them. And that's what we're going to mainly use to kind of move around and keep these guys out of the rural and urban areas. If we can do that and stabilize the zone fast, then it's just a matter of kind of getting them in the mountains. We can box them out and we'll really start pumping out some national soldiers. Now, with the smuggler, these national soldiers are going to cost us money to kind of keep happy and so on. So we always want to have a good bank of money. We just spent it right here, which obviously you can see. I wouldn't use either of these ones because we don't want to decrease that national army strength. But the one right down the bottom there, we're going to gain money from national soldiers. That is a huge one once you get a couple of them out there. Pretty much free money in my eyes. And so you saw the insurgents are out now. It's just going to be a matter of just moving that tank around keep them out of the areas that are green we'll get those areas stabilized first which will give us extra reputation and really this isn't too bad guys if you watch this and follow my techniques on it it's pretty straightforward we obviously don't want insurgents to take over the same area once they've had it before because we're going to lose extra reputation on that but pay attention to those rebel bases you'll usually see it where there's going to be larger diamonds in the areas that they are Sometimes if you have that area discovered, you'll see a faded question mark that will appear more over time. But if we can find those rebel bases, that's really going to help it where we can just kind of destroy these guys even faster. But I love watching these tanks and how fast they wipe out the guys. We're going to get in there now. You saw we just pumped down our civilian one. That's what we're trying to do because we really need to get this zone stabilized. You'll notice if you don't get that first one going, it's just going to start trickling down 79, 78, 77, 76. And it's really annoying. And if you don't get it in time, it goes even faster. And that could be really the end of the game for you. So don't focus all your money on government. Don't focus it all on military. We really need to get that first zone stabilized. And once you do, it's pretty easy after that. Some other quick tips for you is when you do have the tank, you now can't use that tank to kind of back up your other troops. So you can only have ground troops backing up other ones, but you can have a ground troop backing up the tank. 
So keep that in mind. The tank also can't go in the mountains, so we're kind of restricted to these rural urban areas. But this isn't looking too good here. They have a bunch of zones connecting. They're going to get a bonus on that, so we need to break that up right now. And when the time comes, we want to get on that cave, which will need an actual troop, not the tank, to take care of that. They're really pushing here, so there is an insurgent base somewhere. Rebel camp, whatever you want to call it. But we'll utilize the drone initiative on this, and that should hopefully help locate that. And then everybody's going to love me for this. You guys complain a lot of times I don't use it enough. We'll get the airstrike on it once we find that rebel base. And when we do, we'll drop it right down on it. So we do have a couple of troops already. We finally have, you know, a good old national soldier. We do want to kind of keep those steady for popping them out. But what we'll do too is we'll get some garrisons out on it. And once we get that, that's going to be kind of like having an extra troop covering that territory. But one last thing I wanted to mention as far as one troop backing up another troop, don't have them in grayed out areas when you're trying to do that. You know, like the areas you don't have intel because you won't be able to get it to them. Really focus on the areas that are highlighted a little bit or at least that you have stability on. But this video is a little bit longer than some of the other ones. This is the final completion video for me with no advisors. So towards the end, you'll see me going through all of them, just showing you, yep, I beat this one, all the boards, brutal and all. So if you want to see some of those videos, check them out. They're all in the playlist there, um, all over the channel. But really, I'm going to let you guys cut loose on this, let you watch it from here, and hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching, everybody, and remember, I pick my butt.
Oh, <laughs> 